Welcome back to another video folks, another Eastern Front Late War Bagration warm-up. As before Brian will be playing this remotely, we hope to share some of our experiences of streaming um, in a video shortly folks, so keep your eye out for that, might give you some insights. Now, we're going for a wee bit different here, you may probably be able to tell straight away that's the German list there, and that's the Soviet list. So there's something very topsy-turvy here. Um, we decided to go for a horde, a horde German list, if there is such a thing. And as we're using the um, DD German book, we've gone with a beach defence company. Now, we're actually theming it and some of the figures directly represent it as a Luftwaffe Field division. There may be a card out there somewhere that um, breaks that down, but we're just we're quite happy to uh, use the Beach Defence Company as it is. And they are going to go up against the Hero Shock uh, Rifle Company. So, we're going to go through the lists and then we'll go through the mission. Now, Everything you see here is the core company. We have got three platoons of rifle MG stands. Beach Defence rifle MG, they're not the MG stand version, so they're very, very cheap for points. Um, that's why you can see so many here. Each one has got a Faust upgrade and has uh, two Panzer Shreks um, added. I've not finished rebasing these Panzer Shreks, so apologies for that. Then they've got a heavy machine gun platoon. Incidentally, folks, these are my Hermann Goring or Luftwaffe infantry, uh, depending on how you want to play them. Um, I'll stick a wee video up at the end, a link rather, at the end for how I painted them. So they've got heavy machine gun, medium mortar, heavy mortar. Once again, these guys are not finished basing them, actually painting these for somebody just now. So apologies Adam, I've put them into uh, use for myself first. So that's two mortar platoons so far. Pack 40, Pack 38, 75mm infantry gun and 15cm infantry gun. So that's another two artillery pieces, so that's a lot of artillery. But these guys are low in motivation, they're aggressive and uh, apart from the artillery units, I think, everything is green. So they are, they're going to struggle to do um, follow me's and blitzes and so on, but they'll be fairly static. But what they might really struggle in is assault. Five up, hitting on assault, five up motivation, could be quite tricky. To back them up, they've got a platoon of Panzer Grenadiers. Now my... Uh, shock rifles are still in shock after what happened um, in the last game for what the one platoon of Panzer Grenadiers did. So we'll see if they can do anything this turn in this game. And they're backed up by five Panzer Fours. And that's a good even split. That's 40 points. And that's 60. And you'll notice that we are defending an airfield today. The planes are pure eye candy. They'll, they might hang about during the game, but they're, they're not terrain. Uh, just to help confirm this weird looking collection of buildings is an airstrip. So, Brian's using the Germans, I'm using the Soviets. Again, I'm running out this Hero Shock Rifle, but this time with ISU-122s instead of um, IS-2s. So, the tanks, or the ISUs rather, are support everything else's core. What we have is the main platoon, which is 13 bases plus flamethrower plus commissar of hero shock rifles. A seven base, yeah, well, seven set submachine gun base storm group, and they've also got the standard mortar heavy machine gun and anti tank rifle, and there's also a flamethrower with them. Then they have Six heavy machine guns, six mortars, and a five base scout platoon. 
Now, these guys are two, three plus an assault, two plus an assault. Not so good because they're scouts, but still good. They're uh, careful. The guys are aggressive. The guys are careful. So the guys, skill is veteran all round as is them. So they could be potentially doing a lot, but there's not a lot of them, and there's a hell of a lot of artillery over there. Uh, and these are just fairly standard, aggressive, trained uh, support. ISU 122s, good bombardment, not great in terms of range for direct fire, but if they hit a Panzer IV anywhere, it's just dead. If they hit a Panzer IV, it dies. Because they're an auto firepower anti-tank anti -tank 13. These guys got a bit of range, um, and if they hit a Panzer IV, it's, it's pretty much dead. It's only if they roll a 1 will it survive. But you know, the ISUs can still do artillery. So, I've got options for maybe trying to break down Brian's artillery, or at least thinning down some of his platoons. I have to get my guys in, small in number, but I have to get them in and uh, in his face. So, this is the list folks, we'll go over to the mission next. So the mission is Bridgehead, though, strictly speaking, it's more of a surrounded um, outpost than a bridgehead, because that's where the airfield is going to be. And you can see I'll be attacking in a sort of horseshoe shape all around, which can be useful, but other times can be... You can get, your, get yourself into trouble because you get a bit too creative and split your forces up. And you can see that's a sign of scattered reserves for the defender. So special rules, we've got an ambush for the defender, deep scattered immediate reserves, so we'll be rolling for reserves straight away. The, um, there'll be two objectives placed, and importantly here, minefields, four minefields. So the issues in this game, for me as the attacker, it's going to be where are the reserves going to arrive? Where are the minefields going to go? The issue for Brian is just... He's got a very small deployment zone. He's got to fit everything into it. And his reserves are scattered. They could come in right where he needs them or right in the opposite corner. And his reserves could be very important because that's his best quality troops. So, deployment next. Before we move to turn one. Okay folks, we are deployed. First of all, I'm going to go through the deployment zones. You can see this kind of horseshoe shape zone that I've got. Then the German one is just a big square in the middle. I've not put down markers for the um, the zone for the deployment, for the objective markers because it's too busy, but it's basically a, a, a box which is eight inches back from all the edges of this box. So it's quite tight. So. This one objective here, and another one there. So let's go over to deployment. So, first of all you can see Bryce put down some minefields to block this approach. He has got his light infantry guns pre-arranged in here, and his heavy mortars pre-arranged in there. Over this side he has got medium mortars, heavy infantry guns, that's where they've ranged in. Then he has a heavy machine gun platoon in here, covering the minefields. One infantry platoon here, company command within command distance. Another platoon here, within command distance of the company command. Pack 30 is just kind of sitting, wondering what they're going to do. There's not a great anti-tank, especially in this game, even counter-fire, but he's put them in the middle where they can at least do some shooting. Got a reserve platoon, he's, he's put them here, so they can go either way as required. There's the uh, heavy infantry, light infantry, heavy mortars, medium mortars, pack forest in, in ambush, Panzer IVs and 
um, Panzer Grenadiers and Reserve. And you'll be rolling from turn one. Oh, now my Ranger Markers. Now let me see what is that. That's my Mortars. My ISU 152s and ISU 122s. So there are some things under there, but he hasn't put his infantry in a place where they'll be hit by those pre-ranged in. Um, so I've at least I've, I've pushed him off the objective, but he can easily move in. But it's a start. And my deployment. First of all, scouts way up on the flank. They probably just get killed by. Hands are going to but there you go. Then I've got heavy machine guns, medium mortars, ISU 152s. My um, storm groups here, that's their heavy machine gun and mortar. And then my shock rifle, you know, shock rifle platoon here with ISU 122s there. So, we're ready for turn one, folks. We'll just clear things up and uh, come back for the first summary of Soviet's turn one. Soviet turn one. So, first of all, I kept the mortars ranged in here. ISU 122s have moved to try and range in there. The 152s to here. With the exception of that house, which has got the small battery of light infantry guns, everybody's kept out of the templates. They've moved up into cover from everything except the machine guns. And these guys have moved up, not close enough to that to get hit. So, it's going to go over to shooting. I'll just get set up for that. I'm going to start with the heavy machine gun platoon a long range against these gone to ground um, aggressive guys so normally it would be a 5 to hit gone to ground a short range but the long range puts it to a 6 it's going to be a lot of dice it's 1, 2 Only five hits. I'm going to put them. Um, going to put two of them onto tracks, and then everything else I want to put towards the wood. So Brian's going to try and shift one from a track. No, two. Because he's rolled a two, or rather because I have rolled a two for Brian, you'll thank me for that. Um, that just means the hits get applied. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five. Like that. Three up saves, so the Shrek. Oh, right, a one, bloody hell. A five pound needs to be a six though, so he's okay. Infantry base, infantry base, another one, and I roll a three. Um, he's fine. And then the last Shrek rolls a two, and I roll a one. Okay, so they're pinned, but they're um, no casualties yet. So the mortars are going at the Pilled in there, and there's a platoon of four heavy machine guns. So I'm just going to roll four dice. They're trained, so I will need a four to hit because I'm already arranged in. So I get two fives and two threes, but I've got six mortars, so I can reroll the misses, and that's a three and a two. So still only two hits. So they've got to make uh, three up saves. A one and a six. So the ones that fail. But the six must reroll because it's ranged in already. It's a further one. So two five powers needing fours. I get a four and a six. So two of machine guns um, have gone already. Which is not good for Brian. But he wanted to protect the minefields with something. And if I'm not shooting, I'll be shooting at something else if I'm not shooting at them. Um, there's another heavy machine gun 
from the Storm Company. Here we'll get a couple of shots. Excuse me. Five. Now that is in short range, so the five hits. I'm going to go for a Shrek. He can jump it on to the guy over here. Well, farthest away from where the action is. If I save, he gets another. Sorry, I get him another two. But he's fine. He's quite happy, survives that. I'm going to have some infantry. Five bases from the Storm Platoon. They get three hits. I want to hit Shrek, so I can only get one, so I concentrate it on this bubble. Brian can try and jump it off, so I can stick one in there. No, so that's it. So that guy and that guy. Heroes are one. My five power those are five. Heroes are six. And then heroes are one. My five powers are five. So they're taking loads and loads of hits, but they're quite comfortable. My one five twos are now going to try and range in there. There's no terrain under it. Um, so I will need a four to range in because I'm trained. First attempt of five. So see where the best place is to put it down. Right. That's got a chance again. Everybody except this guy in the end. So roll to hit. Nope. Be hitting these guys on threes because they're trained. And I got them in the first range in attempt. Right, okay, so they've all got to make saves. Starting with the first Shrek, rows a three, the back Shrek there, rows a five, the guy in front rows a one, I need a two. So that's enough, he's a corner. The guy in front of them rows a one, that's, oh, dear, dear. two is enough once again. And then this guy here rolls a one and a three. Well, that was quite brutal. Um, the one, two, twos here. I'm going to drop a bombardment on this sort of artillery park back here. Once again, there's no terrain in the way, so I'm going to need a four, I a two, a two, and a three. So they fail to range in. So that's something at least for Brian. Oh, I forgot. One single mortar from the storm group is just going to try and lob into that infantry platoon. It's a three, which is enough because they are skill um, three plus because of veteran. So I'll keep it in the same position. I have to reroll hits. So the first guy is missed. Shrek. He's hit. Reroll it. He's still hit. Infantry. Reroll it. He's missed. Command. Missed. Shrek. Hit. Reroll it. Hit. So first Shrek fails. But he's okay for five power. Next Shrek fails. And he's away. That was terrible. Terrible. Saves. Um, so that bit for shooting, so two of machine guns, three bases of infantry and one Shrek. That was quite nasty. Um, but over to Brian, I'm kind of exposed here, he can do a bit of damage back against me and he'll be rolling for reserves. Gemma turn one. Reserves arrive straight away but unfortunately it was the wrong corner. But Better to arrive early in the wrong corner than late in the wrong place, so he's just dashed over. He's had to move those heavy guns out of the way though, so he can get through, but they didn't have, didn't have any targets this turn, they were pointed over there. So as far as the rest of the shooting goes, st starting with artillery, uh, oh starting with unpinnings, these guys unpinned, they're actually only got a 5 plus motivation for last stand, otherwise they're confident. Heavy machine guns unpinned. Now the heavy machine, uh, the artillery, sorry. The mortars 
couldn't range in because of the terrain and because they're only trained. If they'd been um, uh, veteran, they'd have been fine. Same goes for the heavy mortars, try and range in over here. But the light um, artillery, right, uh, the light infantry guns did and managed to kill two bases. The other two were killed by heavy machine guns. So he dished out quite a bit of payback there. Why? Oh, and the heavy machine gun from the Storm Group uh, got sniped off by these cheeky wee Pack 38s. That's why he gets for showing his head around the corner. So you can see, like, that platoon, there's a couple of guys in that building, but they've lost four of the starting 13, or 14 if you count the, the Flamer. They're already, you know, there's not a lot, of, they've got a long, long way to go. Um, so it's still looking very tricky for both of us, and they're still panting grenadiers out there. So over to Soviets for their turn two. Soviet turn two. In terms of motivation, everything unpinned. In terms of movement, the scouts have raced up to the edge of the wood. These have moved into that wood, that's the Storm Company. These guys have, very bravely, moved into the minefield. They motivated, moved in, one got killed on the way in. But a good skill, kept them in. Oh, actually, they're saving. The skill checks were terrible. <laughs> but they maybe would have been worse if they hadn't have been um, better skilled. But that's it for movement just now. I'm still holding my tanks back because I want to do a wee bit more with artillery first. So I'm just going to go straight over to shooting. Let's start with the mortars on to the heavy machine guns. So the two in there. First one, oh sorry, two hits because I trained. So I hit on a three. Um, first save, second save. They're both sixes, but got to re roll a one and a one. Sheesh. Two sixes and two ones. So the firepower on the first one is a three, the second is a four. So there's only one left. Apologies for any wind tunnel effects there, folks, if you heard that. Uh, this single mortar down there, right in last turn, so first guy is hit, a bit of a reroll, we still hit. Shrek is hit, reroll those, still hit. Base to the front is missed, and then the command base at the back is hit. So, we'll start with the command base at the back, it rolls a 2, 4 up 5 pound needed, nope, it's fine. The Shrek rolls a 2, 4 up 5 pound needed, nope, it's fine. And infantry in the front makes two successful saves. So, I'm going to save these guys. Um, you never know. Uh, I might put them somewhere else depending. I'll fire everything I can at them and then I'll fire them. So there's this slot here, lots of dice to roll, long range, still gone to ground, so I still need sixes. So the first slot gets one, two, three, four hits. Six all together, and the last, just the six. So, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to double up onto a Shrek. Um, so he can move that off if he wants. I'm just going to go and double check. Brian's decided to keep two on the Shrek because there's no tanks there and he's probably going to need it for assault. Um, need infantry for assault. So, saving him first is fine. He's failed but I need a six. He's okay. Shrek's got two saves to make. He's fine. Infantryman. Nope. Failed to save a film of firepower. Another fail save, but another fail firepower, so they're okay at the moment. My storm group, well there's only that tank rifle in range. I'm not even sure how many shots I get, so I'll work that out later. These guys can have a go, there's one, two, three, four. They get one hit. I'm going to go for an ordinary guy, 
um, the guy here. So Brian, I'll try and stick him on the Shrek, and it does. The Shrek makes it safe. Right. I think these are going to have to go for them again. I would like to do something to his artillery because it's got me worried, but I'm just going to try and thin these guys down. So, that's hit, miss, hit, and hit. So, two saves. He's made it. Two saves. He's made it. Two saves. He's made it. They're not going to go away. <laughs> um, boom, boom, boom. Right. ISU 122s are going to try and range in on that artillery park again. A one, a one, and a five. So I at least get the um, the third attempt. So there's going to be four bases of mortars and two light artillery. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Uh, the normal need threes, second attempt, four, third attempt, five. So it's two hits on the mortars. It's the one on the outside, it rolls a 6 for a save, the one closest to me rolls a 3. I'll have to check if that's a save or not. And then the artillery, a 1 and a 5. One of the artillery on this side's hit, a rolls a 3 for a save. I'm sure they're fine. I'll double check then. Um, I just think a heavy mortar might be a different save. So. I think about potential for a very small assault. Maybe one, two, three, four, five. Oof. Okay. Now they did it or not. I'm not going to, because it's going to confuse the hell of me. Maybe in the comments, guys, do I need to make another skill check? I've already entered the minefield this turn. Would I need another skill check to launch an assault to avoid being blown up on the way in? I probably will. So I'm just going to stay put. So, summarise this turn. I killed a mort and a heavy I killed a heavy machine gun. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I killed a heavy machine gun that turn, folks. And that is it. So, over to Brian for German turn two. German turn two. So, first of all, the heavy machine gun stayed, but didn't unpin. Everything else unpinned, like, very, very confident. Fives and sixes all round. Um, they are a four plus save, the heavy mortars, but I didn't die. I, I rolled uh, off camera and they're fine. Uh, but Brian got his second reserve in, once again over in this corner. So he's dashed them up behind there. He also further dashed his tanks up here, out of line of sight of these guys, but in a very good position to hold the objective. And then as far as shooting goes, to be honest, I felt I was always getting pummeled, but it was just a minute of dice he was rolling against me. He only managed to get two in the end, but he ranged in artillery here, the... Um, that was the heavy mortars, the light infantry guns didn't range in, the mortars ranged in here, got one hit but didn't kill, the heavy machine gun um, if fired and didn't get any kills, these guys fired, didn't get any kills, um, well, these guys got a kill there and that was a heavy mortar and that was it. Oh. Got about these guys. I'll check the brides once they fire them or dig them in, and we'll just do all that off camera. But he's got loads of reserves in now, he's getting very close, but he's got plenty of stuff behind that objective. So I think everything's going to go into that big black hole, and we'll see what comes out the other end. Soviet turn three, so movement first, then folks. These guys blitzed and then moved up to that wall for bulletproof cover, the scouts. The uh, ISU 152s 
moved up. These didn't unpan. Everything else did. So I got rid of the main fields. These guys are milling around kind of moved into there. And as you can see, I've moved out with a flame floor to the front to launch an assault. I've kept these guys back just now. I can bring them over shortly, but as I'm reached, I want to try and whittle down that artillery park because um, my infantry are quite fragile. There's could be very quickly be not a lot of them left. Start with a flamethrower. I've never ever used a Sophie flamethrower. I've had them on the table, but they've always been sniped off, killed, blown up, or whatever. So, um, Brian fired them last turn to try and get my guys in the minefield. So, I'm going to need force to hit them. Four dice, I get one dramatic hit. So, I'm going to aim at the Shrek. So within four inches, Brian can't shift that. He's got to roll two saves and he rolls two sixes. There you go, Brian. It's not all bad. Um, that least pins him, which is important. Six MG shots on the move up, get two hits. That's sorry, SMGs. Uh, now, whenever I applied them. Um, Okay, just two ordinary guys have been hit. One's failed to save and I've not passed my firepower. The guys can't shoot because they clear the minefield. So I've got heavy machine guns now, can I have a go? So I need a bucket load of dice again. This time they only need fives because it's three for trained, four range, five concealment. So this is going to hurt. Seven. Eleven. Fourteen. Now, I would suggest I can only see these three because they. So. Maybe four each with two doubling up. Brian won't we'll want the double up to go on hands. So see the commander is doing four and they're doing five. So the commander first gets one potential fail. Oh bloody hell. I passed the firepower on an MG. Um, and then this infantryman has got one potential. Kill. Oh my goodness. Now I'm starting to roll sixes from infantry. And the Shrek. Oh for goodness sake Brian. Really. I have to apologise. That's terrible. So five firepowers to kill the Shrek. But he's still alive. Right. Okay. So. I've got, just try and get it in the sight. Stone Company Mortar is going to aim at the German Mortars. Ranges in first time, gets a six. So I reckon, from what I can see, there will be three Mortars under the template. One, two, three. I got a five, of a one, four. So, two have been hit. First one on the line, fails at save. I get a four, so it's away. Then the third one in the line fails at save, and I get a one, so it's still there. And then there's going to also be two Shreks and a um, command base. So the two Shreks I hit, the command base is fine. The Shrek fails at save, I roll a one for firepower. Or the second Shrek passes at save, sorry. So they're all okay. One mortar gone though. And potentially pinned, which might give my mortars a break. Um, we'll come back to that. Right, okay. These big brutes now, they are going to shoot something within 20 inches. It's not a lot. Connie, aim at the guys in there. 
I will need sixes because I got on the ground. Oh no, I need sevens. Normally it'd be a three, but the concealed got on the ground, a long range, and I'm ready to fire one weapon on the move. That's all sorry, that's one potential and it misses. So nothing there. And then I've got my IS. You one, two, twos going for that artillery park over there, so I'm ranged down already. So heavy mortars one, two, three, four. Now they are only trained, so three are hit. So it's one, two, three. First one I roll two dice, save a bit of time. And then okay, so two of them have failed. I got a five and a two, that's enough to kill one. To one base because there are three up. Firepower. Sorry. Sorry, Adam, I killed one. Um, there are three up firepower in bombardment, and then the guns, the guns, the uh, infantry guns are both hit. That was a three and a two. And a, so, for re rolling saves, oops, I got a fail each. So, one firepower, three, and that's one firepower, five. Sadly, that's both of them gone. Right, okay. Uh, and then, we're ready for assaults. So, it's going to be these guys. So kind of fire. Two bases of infantry get one hit. The Shrek that'll be a penalty gets none. Three up save, so I'm okay. So two up, two up in assault. Six, but the six doesn't. So there you go. So I get my four inch consolidation. Everywhere's dangerous. Might as well. Keep moving forward. So there you go, that platoon. Last is three turns. It was assault, I did it in the end. Um, and I started to whittle down that artillery park, which is good. And the mortars over there. These guys. Whoop, starting to close in. Those guys will need to close in too. So that's me. Over to Brian for his turn three. He's still got plenty of assets on the table, but it's a question of what he's going to do about my heavies, I think. German turn three. The tanks dashed over to there. The half tracks to here. The reserve platoon ran into that building and full knowledge it was under the mortar template. They've really got to do something to protect the objective. Um, the heavy machine gun ran away. The mortars over here unpinned. The heavy mortars didn't. And then in terms of shooting, the half tracks managed to kill a base over there. The mortars managed to range in over here. <laughs> and then the most ridiculous flanking fire from this platoon is just ridiculous. Came in and killed three bases in one go. But basically, they lost six bases out of eight in that turn, which was a sore one. They were kind of exposed, they did what they had to do to get that objective under pressure, but they're kind of wiped out now, to be honest. Uh, so that was a good turn um, for Brian. He's got platoon of infantry plus company command in that building now. And I've got a one, just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight out of starting force of about 14 
from one platoon plus one is probably going to run away so there's a lot resting on my heavies um, we'll see what I can do we'll see what I can do so over to me for my turn four German turn four so um, these guys unpinned and stayed the mortars unpinned so in terms of movement this turn the scouts have moved into this building these guys have moved up they have tactically they've done a tactical move tactical move stayed still tried to dig in and failed and these guys I can't believe I'm doing this but they're staying put for a bombardment so um, I saw the movement done I'm kind of closing in and trips and traps we'll see if I can do a bit of damage and weaken Brian sufficiently for my surviving platoon to do anything over to shooting let's start with the mortars into a very 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 full building um, let's see what we got Right, come to command and second in command first of all. A one and a one. Right. And then there's two Shreks, a two and a two. What's the bets next is a three and a three. Uh, between command is a four, so he's hit. And then two bases on the top, missed. And then one, two, three, four bases on the bottom, two a hit. So two bases on the bottom, I've got to make save. I'll just roll two dice together. A two and a two, that's a fail. A three and a four is a save. One of them I've got a five power four, a three isn't going to do it. And then the platoon command makes two saves. So I survived. Survived the mortars quite comfortably there. Head machine guns. Going to be 12 shots. All going for the upper stories because of low terrain um, and line of sight and such like. A long range, three. Now, I think the Shreks are on the upper. Yep. So we try and get the Shrek so Brian can try and move them off. And he does. So it's going to be three saves and other guys on the, the top floor. Just roll the dice. A six, a one, and a one. So two, six, two ones rather. I needed a six, so they're okay. They're fine. Uh, these guys are going to stay put. This mortar going over there. So there's two mortars still under the template. Um, a three and a four, so they both hit. I need to re-roll a five and a two. So the one nearest me has been hit. I'll roll two dice for its save. A three and a six is fine. And then there's a Shrek and a Shrek. One Shrek's hit. Yeah, it's definitely hit. See if it saves. It gets a one and a six. So firepower of one is fine. The platoon command is missed. It's an infantry base that moved into the building there, but he's been missed. So. I, I issue one, two, two, is I'm going to try and do with that artillery park again. So mortars, one, two, three. One, two, three. That's a five, a five, and a six. They're all hit. So the first mortar fails. Second mortar saves. Third mortar fails. So two firepower. First one, I think like two gone. Two dead mortars. So there's one mortar left there. Which means I can be confident they can get into the fight now. Um, SMGs. Three bases. In range because they're only trained that's enough for five hits um, I'm going to double up on the guys in the building I don't think it matters too much One, two. so first guy gets two ones second guy's fine and then there's a guy in the courtyard another one so the guy in the building is safe the guy in the courtyard is safe
these guys. I'm going to go for the half tracks. A one, one, and a three. The half tracks don't even know they've been shot at. So, the guys in the workshop, they're close enough for an assault, but I don't fancy the chances in getting in this turn. Um, so, I think that will be it for me. I killed a couple of heavy mortars. Maybe killed a base in there, can't, can't quite remember. But not devastating at all. Um, so over to Brian for his turn four. So Brian's turn four was a mixture of good and bad. Good and bad. Uh, first of all, the mortar unpinned and didn't run away. Over here the mortar's unpinned, the infantry didn't. Uh, and the unpinned in here. And then in terms of shooting, lots of fire out here did nothing. Right, but Brian, as you can see, he's moved these guys around. And to be honest, he, let me think, 36 dice only got five hits. But that was enough because I failed to dig these guys in previously. I shouldn't be there. Uh, they, they never dug in. Should have been just a gone ground marker. So three of them died. So there's only one, two... Three, four, five of them left now. Oh, and one of these died. A pack um, killed it. The heavy infantry ranged in here but didn't get any hits. The guys stayed on the ground because there wasn't much prospect of doing any damage against him. And Brian's worried about incoming fire. So I'm running out of stuff that can actually do anything. And get close enough to that objective to take it. So, I'll have to see if there's a plan B, C, D, E, F, whatever. Um, so, my turn five next. Soviet turn five. So, in terms of motivations, first of all, he stayed. Um, these guys unpinned and dug in. Um, in terms of movement, these are moved up. So, there's a bit of penalty for moving, but they get in a position to... Maybe get some payback against those armoured fellas. These guys stay put. He's moved up to assist over here. Um, so I've moved one guy up. I need to move another guy. So they're all in range. Right, okay. So that's it for movement. On to shooting, so I'll just get set up for the dice. So let's start with my brave little flamethrower. Four dice now. Brian stayed got on the ground. So a four, four and a two is missed, which is a pity. <laughs> kind of needed that. Um, then I got one, two, three, four, five, one, two. Some machine gun dice firing into those infantry there. Five hits now for who's eligible. There is one, two, three, four. I want to double up on the guy in here. So with two saves on one of them, that's one fail. Another save, it's okay. It's in there. And then courtyard and they're fine. Uh, so Five power five is okay. Right, that's some pinned anyway because I, I really need to assault them. The mortars, I'm going to do their thing again. Let's see what we got. I may as well put them in second. So, company command and second in command. Company command, second in command. Can do all that mess. So, so they both take hits. So, company command, two ones. Second in command's okay. So, the company command. Is a goner. Um, so, see if he jumps into he doesn't. Uh, so, second in command is going to take over there. And then there is two Shreks, they're both hit, two saves for one, 
says for the other, there's one fail, five pounds are failable, and then the three bases infantry up top there, can we roll that miss? Yep, so all three are hit. So the first one, second one, third one. So two of them got a fail. I'm rolling two dice here because of the re rolls. So five power and one, three and five. So three doesn't kill, the five does. And then downstairs, there's four, two are hit, re roll, the misses, and they're all hit. So Three of them failed one of the saves. So three five powers that kills two. It's getting nasty in there, but they are at least holding that objective. That was about three, four bases gone that time. Um they guys are going to take on the ground. The heavy machine guns, they can only shoot upstairs. And a bit long range, so that's one, two, three. Right, we're going to pick on the Shreks, see if Brian can. Yep, he successfully moves the. Well, it's only been one, move one of them off, unfortunately. Um, otherwise, he loses company command. So, Shrek, infantry, infantry. There's one fail there. I need a six. No, he's fine. This wee single mortar is still waiting over there, so first mortar, nope, second mortar. Yep, that was a reroll hit. And I made it so that mortar's got to save. Gets a fail. A one's a fail, five pounds though. And then a Shrek, Shrek, infantry, and then infantry. So Shrek and Two shrimps, sorry. First one saves, second one saves. Right. These guys are going to try to shoot. What the hell are we going to shoot? I'm going to try and shoot that command there. <laughs> Three or two or two, they cannot shoot. Uh, right, over here. Let me see. One. Two at a short range. Four of these can see Panzer four. Two at a short range. One will have to go for half tracks. So normally it's going to be a four to hit these, Panzer fours, five for concealment, six for rate of fire weapon on the move. So two of them will be on five, uh, six, sorry. Nope, one will be on a seven because it's, two of them will be on a seven, sorry, because of long range. That's one possible, whoa, I've actually managed to get a seven. I think that's maybe the first time. And one against a half track because the same it misses. So can't save. It's just going to go straight to firepower and a two does it, believe it or not, because it's a one twenty-two. So it's got to be over here. So kill the tank. That isn't quite so bad. Right, and then So there's two one there, one there, two in the bottom. So kind of fire is going to be two shreks. That'll be one hit. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh dear. That's four hits. Two of them get killed on the way in. What a disaster, folks. Right, 
So, it's going to be have against one guy in the building. No. Nope. And then two guys in this house. These scouts hit on a four in assault. Primus to counter attack, he gets a three. Germans just don't seem to want to counter attack. Um, so that'll be a break off. I'll, I'll do all that off camera. The company command is away over there, so I can't zero. Um, so, to sum up then, assault went in, I lost two bases, but I went in, killed two bases. They guys did nothing again. He's still around, but he can't hit anything. Uh, one Panzer IV destroyed, two guys finally dug in, and quite a few casualties in that house. Brian's turn five. So, the... Everything over there that was pinned unpinned, as did those guys in there. Uh, he stayed. And <laughs> Brian's glad he did. These guys did, um, a, to, to stop the German dance, they did a blitz and then a um, shoot and scoot. So in terms of firing, he's still clobbering him infantry. That one mortar killed three bases killed. Sign of command and two bases out of that platoon. And then over there the packs managed to kill one of them. It's only two bases now. Uh, I think these guys are probably on a check as well. The Panzer IVs, they're out of line of sight now unless he gets back in. But they, they build that and that's it. Um, the mortars finally managed to do something against these mortars. Killed a couple of bases. So they no longer got rerolls. <sighs> so the end of well the, the end of Brian's next turn's critical for the victory conditions. I have to be with an eight or something. But I think I've got one, two, three infantry platoons which are going to have to do last stance. So over to my critical turn six. German turn six. Well, motivation. Let's start there. Runaway. Single flame for a runaway. They stay released. Uh, so in movement, uh, oh, what the hell we it? That's like Panzer Shrek Alley. But charge. Then they've tacticaled around to have a go over there. Come to commands, moved into the wood. Um, so it's just going to go over to some shooting and we'll see if uh, maybe some assaulting and we'll see what happens. First of all, five shots looking for sixes. One. So, yeah, it's not going to be able to save. Whatever happens, if Brian can knock it to a guy furthest away, no. So I'm just going to put it at the nearest guy, four up, so. The ISU's 152. Okay, well, um, mortars are going to go first. Might be lucky and kill some Shreks. So, no rerolls this time. So, Shrek, Shrek, one hit on a Shrek, gets a five, he saves. Then there is two infantry bases up there, one of them's hit. Doesn't save, I roll a two, so my power's not going so good. Come to command, it's missed. Then two bases underneath. Both hit. One of them's got a fail. Once again, five power's not up to it, folks. And loads of machine gun shots once again. Sixteen, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so that would be 
So four of them will be taking three. Brian will try and keep it off the Shreks. Okay, one Shrek's taken three. One infantry is taken two. Sorry, folks, I've got to work this out again. My apologies. Infantry. Shrek. Shrek. Okay. So, I wonder if I have to all got to go upstairs. Excuse me, folks, I'm being stupid, so. 16, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 each. 4 each. First Shrek. Because one fail. Or two fails, sorry. And then two fails. Two fails each on the Shreks. Whoops. Then volcano okay, no firepower. Uh, Palaces. And the infantry get one fail each. And they're okay as well. That at least pin, that might help me when my crazy guy's going for the assault. SMG shots. Oh. Bloody hell. Right. Buy your shoes. I'll just go for the, the guns. Get one hit. I got rolled safe twice because of the, the brutal thing, but it saves. So, here we go, folks. This is going to be one hell of a lot of counterfire. So, six shots from the packs. Four hits. So, two and one. Other ones now, let me see. That's a potential bail. That's the best they can do against these guys. I guess a bail though. Damn. Right, they're going to be one Faust in range. That's going to be a hit. That's a potential kill. It's bailed. Right, and then the um, two Shreks. In that building, get one hit. Whoops. Oh my goodness. That is potential kill. A two. It's a bail. <laughs> but there's two more shrieks, so not a penalty, but they get two, one hit. Hey, oh my goodness. And that's a double bail. It's two, so one of them is dead. That was pathetic. Half decent safe throws would, would, would at least have got them in. As it is, no. So, I think the fairest thing to do is just to call it there, folks. Um, they're going to get killed in assault next turn. I've only got two bases infantry, so I'll go to sum up. So, recapping the game, folks, let's start with the mission itself. This particular mission. Um, it's significant in that the deployment zone is quite small, which means the objectives are quite close together, which means the defender is able to quickly move their assets around um, to protect objectives. They're not going to be so pressured by trying to cover distant objectives. So depending on your list, it can be quite a good um, uh, objective, uh, sorry, mission to play. In this particular case, the German list, though they were only sort of poorly trained Germans, the fact that that third platoon on the table made all the difference. If that was a veteran list and they lost a platoon here and had another platoon over there, typically they don't, they're only going to have two infantry platoons because your other assets are quite expensive. That would have put them under great pressure. As it was with Brian putting his reserve platoon here, they could have gone that way or that way to protect the objective and it worked. Uh, 
the guys were a bit lucky in that they, they survived that barrage as well as they did, but they did. Um, and they held me off and they added enough shots into the infantry coming in to whittle them down. And then as far as the rest of Brian's list goes, he's quite happy. These mobile guys, uh, when they came on, they were able to, even though they were over here, they were able to come right over and put the pressure where he wanted it. Uh, deploying in here was not really an option for him. His tanks would have been smashed to bits by these guys. So he did the usual German kind of stuff, uh, in and out, in and out. Still lost two tanks, but it prevented them from getting involved. And then, of course, Panzerstreich Alley. That was a bit brutal. My dice rolling was pretty poor there, but it was always going to be a long shot. Desperation. Um, they got smashed to bits. And then as far as my list goes, well, I know now I'm, I'm going to change it. It's, it's an unfamiliar list to me, so you're not always going to get the best combination when you're playing unfamiliar lists. So what I'm doing is I am going to drop the flamethrowers because I'm not a huge fan of flame flamethrowers anyway. Um, and I'm going to drop scouts. That gives me 11 points, which is enough for another uh, storm, uh, not another storm, another hero shock rifle platoon. So that's going to be 13 bases plus the commissar swapped out for five bases plus two um, flamethrowers. And that way I would have had three Platoon, so I could have had one, two, three. Much more chance of me uh, taking the objective. Um, and because you really have to play your infantry quite aggressively to get anywhere, having a third platoon also keeps your formation effective and on the table. But there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed that game, folks. So, um, uh, quite an enjoyable game for us and uh, thank you for all the subscribers that are out there if you don't subscribe to the channel but you enjoy it please consider subscribing it helps us build the channel and find other um, people who like this kind of content but thanks again folks stay tuned and we'll get another one up for you probably something that's going to at least appear in the Bagration books though I don't have my copy yet I'm not sure how, how the supply is for them, but we'll try and get something from Bagration, uh, German that is, into the German list for the next game.